Hi everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. Today I want to show you how I made my save the date magnets for our wedding. So I've laid out all the materials here. I'm going to go through and show you how I made them and I'm also going to tell you how much each thing costs and what the total price for one full magnet including the envelope costs. If you're interested in learning how to do this yourself, stay tuned. Let's run you through the list of materials because it's really not that much. So of course I have my scissors, I have my photos. I decided to use our engagement photos that a friend of mine took for us and I got them printed through Shutterfly. I got my envelopes, I have my magnet sheets, and I also have my stamps that I got from the post office. Let's get started. I'm going to remove some of this stuff only because we don't need it right now. The only things we need for this part are going to be the photos and the magnets. So now that we are left with our photos and magnets, I want to show you how I put them together. confidentiality reasons I decided to block out the bottom part of our save the date photo. The very bottom has the more personalized information. It has our names, it has our wedding date, it has our wedding city location, and it also has the URL to our wedding website. So this was super important. We wanted to make sure everyone had a centralized place to find out all of the information about the wedding that they want ahead of time before we sent out our formal invitations. All right, so I'll put these over here and I'll start off with the photo. So once you have the photo, you will go ahead and take one of your magnet sheets. One thing I wanna let you all know, these magnet sheets are the four by six and they are individually cut already and they are self-adhesive. I got these on Amazon. I'll link everything down below. So once you take off the adhesive, you have the stick, very sticky top. <laughs> what I do is place that on the table. I take my photo and I match up the corners. Remember, this is extremely sticky, so do your very, very best to get it on there as best as you can your first go round. Once I got it on there, I smooth it out. I will take my fingers and really just kind of massage it. So yes, these are glossy. I don't want fingerprints when I mail them. I'll go ahead and take kind of one of those dry microfiber cloths and just wipe it over before I put it in the envelope. All right. And there you have it. I'll address that top part in just a moment. Let's do another one. I'm gonna take off the adhesive. So my fiance actually helped me do a couple of these and he held it in his hand and he matched it like so. I'm gonna see if I can capture this on camera. Well, not perfect probably why I didn't do it by, <laughs> by just holding it, but that's okay. We're gonna do one more and I'll show you how to clean them up as well. All right, so peel back the adhesive. I saw in a previous video when I was learning how to do this that there are some people who also start in the corner of the magnet. Move to the other edge of the magnet. and then smooth it out going to the other side. Smooth, smooth, smooth. All right, so there we have it. So once you've done this, and you've done this a couple of times to the best of your ability, take your time and do this. I am, I made a couple of mistakes, but I'm gonna go in and fix it. This is where the scissors come in handy. What I'm gonna do is just turn it over. Do you all see how there's that white line across? That's the edge of the photo that didn't make it on the magnet. Now, I did order four by six magnets and four by six photos, but for some reason, these seem to have a little bit extra. So here's what I do. I turn it over, I take 
scissors and I just go straight across using the thick magnet as a guide. So I'm not cutting the magnet and I've cut that piece off, turn it over, you cannot even tell the difference. These ones actually look pretty good so there's no need for cleaning. Here are two more that I made earlier. Does anyone remember those cooking shows where they would show you how to prep it but then already have a full meal ready and they just bring it out? Here's what it looks like when it's done. So here's what they look like when it's done. All right, so right here we have one, two, three, four, and five. So now that we're done with the photos and the magnets, let's figure out our next steps. So we've introduced back our envelopes and our stamps. So once the invitation is clean and crisp to your liking, go ahead and take it, take your envelope, save the date in the envelope. All you need to do is put your stamp right there and you are ready to go. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Let's go ahead and put it to the test. Walk to my fridge. There's the fridge. All right. It sticks. It is beautiful. And your guests will absolutely love the personal flavor that you've put on this. In actuality, people won't even know that you made it. That's my motto for this wedding, spend here, save there. This was one of the things I wanted to save. I did each and every one of these save the dates for 57 cents each. That includes the photo, that includes the envelope, that also includes the magnet. We got all of those things and so each individual magnet costs 57 cents. That's right, just 57 cents each. I got a great deal on the photos from Shutterfly. I got a great deal on the envelopes as well as the magnet sheets from Amazon. I really hope this video was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and remember to always fill your cup. Bye.